All right, welcome back. We're going to take a look at the GNOME flavor of the Manjaro family of Linux based operating systems, which includes, of course, XFCE, Openbox, and several others. Now, it's no, it's no secret that over the last couple years, Manjaro is quickly becoming one of the more popular Linux-based operating systems among the Linux community and probably for Windows users also. One thing that is consistent in my tests for Manjaro is the impressive speed of really Manjaro, at least in the versions I have tested, is probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest family of Linux-based operating systems I have ever tested. Uh, and that's coming from a Windows dual booter like myself. Speed is consistent throughout the different versions. Unfortunately, another thing that is consistent are the bugs. Uh, they never seem to go away, at least not for me, but let's take a look at this and I'll show you what I mean. Now this is the normal, the standard desktop environment. I am running this inside a virtual box. Let me tell you, even inside a virtual box, the speed of this thing, it's the fastest GNOME desktop environment I have ever tested. Well, if you've tested or looked at Manjaro, known before it is user friendly oriented at least um, for my test and more so over the last um, probably the last year of course Manjaro is based off of Arch Linux Arch Linux in and of by itself is not what I what I consider a beginner version of Linux but Manjaro based on Linux is certainly the way to start if you are interested in something like this one of the things about this that did come included by default is the gnome tweak tool this should be a standard tool for all the latest GNOME 3 desktop environments. It just makes it much, much easier to tweak uh, your operating system. And what I mean from here is once you uh, bring this up, I like to go straight into the extensions and turn on things that I would use if I was going to use an operating system like this, such as the media player indicator user themes and the window list if I click this off and then on you'll see here it, it brings up a uh, second panel and it tells me what I got working on in my current desktop as you see here so the tweak tool is installed by default and from my experience it is a must if it, if it is not installed by default in my opinion it makes any GNOME 3 desktop much much harder to work with but with the tool at least you have a few more options to make it just the way that you want to use an environment like this all right getting back to the desktop here again if you've used gnome 3 before you've seen this before it's keyboard centric meaning that you type into where you want to go for example uh, music uh, let's see firefox now, of course you can also navigate your mouse to the applications here and this is again this is running very very smooth and fast even in a virtual box very very impressed with the speed let's go to the file manager here again if you are coming from a windows environment you should have no problem navigating through something like this now that's the good and boy is it really good the speed again impresses me now the bad well i want to um Naturally, once you install this, you want to run, run an update. And the first time I tried to do the updater, the updater wouldn't even start. It just kept crashing. I forget what it said, but I am somewhat familiar wee bit with Manjaro. I was able to go into the terminal, uh, type in some commands, and at least I got the updater started. So it started downloading the updates. But then I ran into another problem. And if we go here, progress freezes and it says building klug c-l-o-o-g or maybe it's just clogged building the clog maybe the uh, system updater is clogged honestly i don't know to be honest i really didn't feel like going back to the documentation to figure out what happened i tried to figure this out two three times i finally gave up so let me just say that when it comes to any any rolling release if you don't read the documentation you're going to get stuck sooner or later it's going to happen it's happened to me every single time with any rolling release distribution now that doesn't mean that a rolling release distribution is not for you the one advantage about a rolling release is that you don't have to constantly reinstall the system over and over again as opposed to what's called an lts long-term support release for an operating system linux space such as um, 
Linux Mint, or Ubuntu, two of my favorites. So it does have its advantages, but then again, the downfall is you're gonna you're more than likely gonna run into hiccups or bugs that are gonna stop you dead in your tracks unless you read the documentation. In this instance, call it laziness. Uh, I just did not want to go any further with this type of desktop environment, at least not for myself. But if you enjoy incredible speed and you don't want to reinstall the operating system every six months to a year or two years, definitely check out Manjaro. Now you may want to check out, I guess the default version of Manjaro would be XFCE. So as a beginner, if you are a beginner, you may want to take a look at that one first. But for speed, this is probably the fastest GNOME 3 desktop environment I have ever tested. So definitely take a look at that. I will have all the links below in the show notes. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. This channel is only possible with your continued contributions. Thank you for all your comments over, over the last, though, well, going on five years now. It's been a lot of fun and I continue to be here doing these as long as I can. That's it for this one. I'll catch you guys later.